feel really awkward just sitting in complete silence. I guess as long as it's not like annoying in the background, I'm sure you guys probably couldn't even hear it. Alright, so today I'm filming my everyday makeup tutorial, like just what I do every day, like before I go to work or before I'm just doing something on the weekend and I'm not like going out or doing anything specific like this is just my go-to makeup I guess I would say um I just washed my face I washed my face with Mario either okay so I use like a couple different face washes because I find that if I use just one face wash my face gets used to it and I get acne like I have right now is really good I usually use I go between like three different face washes I take my makeup off with just Neutrogena makeup wipes. I think everyone's used these since like sixth grade. They're just my go-to. They do make my eyes burn. I have pretty sensitive eyes, and they do make my eyes burn a little bit on the like on the edges. I find if I wear like a lot of makeup and I really scrub, it kind of like burns, and like honestly, I get a little bit of a sore. But the, um, there's there's like a purple pack, and it's the nighttime sensitive. Those do not do that. It's just I couldn't find them, so I bought these ones this time. They do the trick. And then to wash my face, I'll either use the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I like this one, but you can only use it two to three times a week because glycolic acid basically makes your skin cells produce faster. So it's like a, it's like a foaming exfoliant. It's like exfoliator, but it doesn't have any beads or any like any like actual like physical exfoliant it's I don't know how to explain it I have no idea how to explain it maybe it says on the bottle better it doesn't whatever I know it just exfoliates your skin and then I also use the enzyme cleansing gel you can use this however many times you want a week I don't really like it it's by Mario Badescu I don't really see a difference it was kind of expensive and I think that like in a vino cleanser works just as well um, if I did wear a lot of makeup that day and I still take my makeup off with these, I will use the Garnier Micellar Foaming Cleanser. I think it's like eight bucks and usually they have like a pack where you can get the actual micellar water and the actual cleanser. There's a pink bottle, there's a blue bottle, and there's a green bottle. I don't see a difference in any of them. I think one of them is like for sensitive skin, I don't know. It just works really well and gets really foamy and I like when cleansers are foamy because I feel like I'm actually getting clean. And this one is a gel cleanser so it doesn't get foamy and that's why I think I don't like it. But I'm gonna use it because I bought it and it was expensive. Um, For toners, I don't know, I don't have my toners and I'm not gonna grab them. But I use like a witch hazel. I'm, I can make a separate video on all of my toners and stuff that I use because that's just like a whole different ball game like I literally use a different toner like every other day moisturizer Clinique it's the dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus someone told me that this is just like a primer lotion like you put this lotion on before you put your other lotion on my mom has been using this since I was in elementary school like this is the lotion that she always used I've always used it. I wouldn't say that I have sensitive skin. My skin does get super red. I have pretty bad rosacea. Like right now, I don't have any breakouts or anything. Like I'm not sunburned, I'm just this naturally red. Which is whatever, I don't really care. Like I've gotten used to it. I think I'm fine without makeup. Um, but I have no breakouts right, breakouts right now. Everything is just either scarring or my rosacea, which is Nothing I can help. I can try and help it a little bit, but it's just my face. And then the moisturizer that I use that has SPF in it, because I don't want to put like straight up sunscreen on my face, um, is the Mario Badescu Collagen Moisturizer. It's SPF 15. I believe the foundation I also use also has SPF in it, and it's like SPS 50 or SPF 50. So that also helps, but I don't know. I think I really like this. I luckily don't break out a lot like I don't have a lot of acne so when I do put something new in my skincare routine I can usually tell that makes me break out within two days and this doesn't make me break out and it's a, it has collagen in it 
wearing it. I only wear this during the day. I only wear the collagen moisturizer with SPF during the day, not at night. At night, I only use the Clinique. And then I just let that soak in. At night, I also use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. So the pores around your face are big enough to like suck in and soak in the normal moisturizer that you use, but the pores around your eyes are extremely tiny. So it's a lot harder for them to absorb the normal lotion that you put on your face. So that's why eye creams are important because they're extra moisturizing. So they moisturize your eyes way better than like a normal lotion does. So I only wear this at night. Sometimes I'll wear it during the day. Whatever I'm feeling like, I don't really care. So that's that and I'll let that soak in for a little bit. Before I put any like makeup on my face, I use MAC Prep and Prime. So it's kind of like a primer. I don't know, it's like, this has been around forever. And then I'll let that dry. All right, so to put my foundation on, I just use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This is dirty, I don't really care. I keep it in one of these because my dog, not kidding between my roommate and I, has probably ate at least 12 of these. I don't know how he digests them, he hasn't gotten sick from them, probably not good for him, so I went and had and bought myself a case. And keeping it in the case, like, there is, if you can see, like a little opening where the real technique lettering is. So like moisture can get out, but it stays wet. Like it's always wet. And I don't know if that's like the most hygienic thing that it doesn't like dry out. It's always constantly wet, but I haven't gotten any acne from it. So it must not be that bad. Almost out. Um, I bought this, gosh, when did Ulta open? No, no, this isn't even when Ulta opened, was it? I don't know I think I bought this literally like four months ago four or five months ago and like I probably put this on at least four or five out of seven days of the week and I'm just now like running out so it lasts a really long time I really like it it's not the fullest coverage but it covers my redness and that's all I really give a crap about I just dab it in dab a little bit on my face all over and this is not my color <laughs> Not my color at all because I bought it when I think I bought it like at the beginning or like middle end of fall and I was pretty tan blend it with your ears forehead eyelids under eye nose as far as the sponge goes I think it works just as well as the, the Morphe has a sponge. I think this, it works just as well. Just the shape is a little different. Beauty Blender, I bought the Beauty Blender for so many, like for three years. And Beauty Blender is like $20. And this is literally 6 or $7. And it does the exact same thing. Like, Tarte Shape Tape, love it. Very full coverage, very full coverage. Um... The MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, what shade? NW15, super freaking pale. It's really hard to like, I've noticed like for MAC, like it's like really hard to like kind of pick your color because you would think that this isn't that pale in the bottle. It's pale, like real pale, which is fine, I guess. But like, and then I also have the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smoother Concealer. In NW10, and I'd say that this is also like pretty dang pale. But um, out of all three of these, I would do Shape Tape for full coverage. This one I like better than this Pro Long Wear. Sometimes I mix these two because this one is a little darker, but I don't really see that big of a difference in them. Clearly, insanely more pale than my um, CC cream, which is kind of the point. 
because I can have that CC cream and either make it darker or more, make it more pale depending on the color of concealer I use. I just use a beauty blender. Again, our Real Techniques sponge to blend it out. Literally made me look 10 times way less, I mean 10 times way too tan. 10 times less way too tan. Can't speak, grammar's hard. I like to cream contour because personally, I think that, I don't know, it looks more, most natural. It's the easiest. I'm the most comfortable with it. Um, Brush-wise, I just use the Real Techniques BB and CC brush. Don't know what that means. It's just like angled and super, super dense, like very dense. Like the bristles are extremely packed. For contouring stick, I just use the Fenty Beauty um, Matte Stick in Mocha. I think it's the color is cool enough to use as a contour stick, but also double as bronzer. Like it doesn't like chisel me, but it also doesn't make me orange. I'm gonna zoom a little bit. I don't bring it too far out. I don't bring it like past here. Bring it a little bit up on my cheeks. And then I'll bring it the excess amount that I had on the brush onto my forehead. I don't know, like it's not like a strict line. I'll also take, if I think I dragged it down too much on my lower cheek, I'll take the sponge, the like the side of the sponge that I use for like my foundation and concealer, and like kind of like bring it down to like reform that line if I think I exaggerated the like blending too much and that kind of like sharpens it a little bit and I'll go back in go back under the under eyes make sure there's no creasing I'm running out of time 20 minute, 29 minutes is not enough time um for right now I use the just fit me Matte and poreless powder in 110 porcelain. I take a Sephora brush that I've like bought in a kit. Um, it's just kind of dome shaped, super dense, and I like dig it in there. Like I get it packed with powder and pack my under eye with it. If I, I only put this white powder under the contour again to make it more sharp the NYX professional makeup matte bronzer in the shade medium and this stuff is dark like I take one dab don't smear it around tap it off and put the tiniest bit on again one dab tap it off in just like the tiniest bit and I pretty much only do this to like set the bronzer because I didn't put the white powder like on the cream contour and I don't want that to move and then I'll put it underneath my neck or underneath my chin and on my neck make sure it's nice and blended and then I take a smaller denser brush I don't know, it's just small, it's a little more dense. To the tip of my nose, I kind of just go back and forth like that. I like really tap off the excess. And I kind of just like dab the sides of my nose with it to kind of like contour my nose and bring some life back into it. And then after I do that, I'll take my powder brush that I didn't use bronzer for and go in and just kind of like in a circular motion. Like, I'll set it, like, on my tear duct area and just kind of go in and, like, do a circular motion and really make sure that it's super blended out. Juvia, Juvia Place? I don't know, in Shade Bella? I don't know, it was, like, eight bucks and it's a stupid amount of blush. It looks extremely red on the camera, but it's really not that red. Um, For a blush brush, I've had this brush i think it's from amazon 
I've had this since I was in like sixth grade. I don't know. Um, it's just like an angled brush. I think it was originally for contouring. It's just super like loose and uh, it just works really good for blush. I wish I knew what it was, but I don't. Um, I only dab in there once, like hardly tap it off because this blush is extremely potent. And I kind of just put on the apples slash like bring it up by my contour. I kind of like a lot of blush. I bring it literally all over my face. It just makes you look more sun-kissed in the middle of winter. Highlight. I have a million highlighters. Becca Champagne Pop, Becca Opal, Wet n Wild, um, Rev, Rev, Makeup Revolution, Strobe Highlight. I take whatever, it doesn't matter. Morphe M510 brush. It's just like a little dome. I don't know. It works pretty well. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that Jeffree Star uses. That's why I got it. Because I love him and his highlights popping. Um, today I'm going to take the Wet n Wild. It's kind of like a pinky, pinkier shade. I'm just going to go back and forth. Tap once. And boom. Boom. Mm-hmm. I don't like to take my highlight down very far. Um, I kind of like to keep it focused right up here and I'll blend it down a little bit under the brow bone bridge of the nose with what's left over from my cheek highlight tip of the nose cupid's bow tip of the chin do the same 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 do the same thing on the other side brows I'm gonna do in a separate video so I'm gonna do my brows and be right back. All right, I feel like my brows. I feel like my brows are extremely aggressive today. And then I take. I only do a lot of eyeshadow with my everyday makeup, honestly. But I just like recently I've liked to go back to. I used to do this all the time, and then I started using a palette. But recently I've just liked using the same bronzer that I use on my cheeks on my eyelids just to like kind of carve them, carve them out and give them more definition so I'll take that same bronzer and then this Real Techniques I don't know I guess whatever it was called got rubbed off it's Real Techniques it's just like um like a bigger fluffier dome shaped brush I'll just dab it in there once or twice tap it off okay so I'll just go in like right here start right here and just kind of do like back and forth motions focus I just bought this camera so well, hopefully most of this video is actually in focus cuz oh oh this is my first time making a video but yeah, like I said, I just take the bronzer, go back and forth, no harsh edges. You know, and this works for my eye shape. Like, when I do another video, I think I want to do a video specifically dedicated to eye shapes. Like, people ask me all the time, like, how can I do my eyeliner like you? Like, how can you, can I, how can I do my eyeshadow like you? Like, do you see how much lid space I have? Like, I have a lot of lid space to work with. So when I do do eyeshadow, it is a little easier for me because I have a lot of space to work with, you know? I can put, I can layer like six different eyeshadow lit colors on my eyes and like they all won't blend together because I have so much space to work with. Like, and for someone that maybe has hooded eyes or their eyebrows are closer like down more down here like they don't have a lot of space so they can't like they have to modify the look so it works for them this is the flatter brush I don't know I've had it for absolutely ever oh brow highlighting brush because you're just gonna buy one specific brush for brow highlight um, this one right here and this one and this one 
and kind of just like dab back and forth, tap, oh, and I'll take it and I'll put it only like right on my lash line, lightly, not pressing hard. I'm just taking it lightly under my lash line. I find this also helps when my concealer creases because honestly for me like my concealer creasing is kind of inevitable like it just happens like no matter really what concealer like the shape tape is probably the best when it comes to creasing but like no matter what like I, I don't know why if it's just like the type of skin or eye shape that I have like I usually crease and I find that this helps a lot then I'll take any highlighting shade that's white or very pale, not gold, not any with like yellow undertones, sometimes one with pink undertones, but this one is like straight up white. This is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in shade. I don't know. Doesn't have one, the white one. And I'll just take it on like my ring finger and kind of put it in my tear duct just to highlight the inner corners. And then if I'm feeling it, I'll take like a smaller brush like, like this, Real Techniques, and like a, just like a dome brush, base shadow brush. And I'll take like a darker color and I'll go a little tighter in my crease if I'm feeling it, which I'm not really feeling it today, so I'm not going to do. Um, but I am going to take the Stila. I don't even know what these are actually called. Oh, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I think it just adds a little something something. Not a lot. Not a little. This brow is lacking compared to that brow. But what are you going to do? It's getting kind of dark out. The lighting in this video is going from decent to shit real quick. The... Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara Volume Flash and both in the blackest black blackest you can get um I'm gonna start with the Kush Mascara wow it is dark in here yikes so I'll do one coat of that go in with the Rimmel do another coat And I'll basically just go back and forth doing that until I achieve the lash that I want. So if you get mascara, like a dot on your eye, don't take it off right away. I'll teach you how to And then I only put the cushion on the bottom of my lashes. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot. Slash, I fortunately don't need a lot. Outside. Huh? What'd you say? Recording yourself? Mm hmm. You're cute. Go to the gym or something? No, I decided to film even though now the light is shit because it gets so dark out. You don't know, recording a lot late out there. <laughs> I'm just trudging around in the snow. So for any of the mascara that like got on my like eyelids, I just took like a spoolie and when it was dry and I just kind of like rubbed it off and it's a whole lot easier than taking like a Q-tip or anything like that because it literally just scrapes right off. 
friends, I'm gonna do my eyeliner probably in the same video that I do my brows and the lighting is a little bit better. But if I didn't do eyeliner, then I'm done. I might add a little bit more um, highlight. I kind of want to put um, Becca Champagne Pop on. Just a little bit for something extra. But yeah. That's it. I'll probably do another video of like full glam with lashes, whole lot more eyeshadow. Um, I'll do a video with my brows because I feel like it's a whole different video in itself. Like I could literally record like 30 minutes just on my brows. Um, I'll do a whole video on eyeliner. So subscribe if you want to see those videos like if you like this comment below if you have any other videos idea video ideas or any questions or what you'd like to see and yeah that's it thank you